the big moments at Churchill Downs are accompanied by the roar of 100,000 race fans. But with this one, there was little more to hear than the horses themselves. It was very strange, I have to admit. I mean, it's Churchill. On any day, you usually hear the fans, and it certainly adds to the allure of the race. Assistant trainer Julie Clark watched as Archability won Saturday's first race, believed to be the first in 145 years here without spectators. It's something we'll be talking about for generations. I think that yeah. the fact that we are running tells you that people really love this sport and they want it back. So from, from all of us, it's, it's bizarre, but it's a good first step. The day included a comeback for 2018 Kentucky Oaks winner Monomoy Girl, who won her first race after an 18-month layoff. Louisville native Brad Cox is her trainer and says while this was a different experience, it is an important step for the entire sport. I want to thank Churchill Downs for doing a great job in getting, getting this going. I know they played a huge role in getting this place open, obviously, but um, it, it, it means a lot for the horse racing business all around throughout the country. Churchill Downs has added safety protocols for the duration of the 26 day spring meet, and so far there are more than 1,100 horses on the grounds for the races. It certainly, it's uh, unprecedented to be racing without fans, but things are going very smoothly. Uh, I want to thank the horsemen, everybody for all their cooperation. Everybody's trying to do the right thing, and uh, that's going to make it successful. Now, even though you couldn't watch these races in person, plenty of people were betting on them from home. Churchill Downs is reporting more than $14 million in total wagers. That's up roughly 180% from a similar day a year ago. From Churchill Downs, I'm Natalie Grace, WLKY News.